What we have here is the jacket that James Dean wore in Rebel Without a Cause in 1955. I believe that through our research, there were a number of jackets. How many, I wasn't there, but um, there, there were a number of them. There was more than one. Uh, the jacket, I think, is in really good condition considering it's from 1955. Uh, it has uh, a cigarette burn uh, on the left arm and a small wear uh, around, the, around the edge of the cuff. There's one specific feature which is um, around the bottom of the jacket and the back there's two pleats that were put in. Uh, around the bottom because Dean was 5'8", and when they got the jacket, uh, they put it on him and it was too big for him around the bottom. The top was fine, but the bottom part of the jacket was too uh, blousy. It just represents a really significant period um, of our culture in the 1950s where uh, the movie reflects about the conflict between affluent teenagers getting into trouble. And um, this was a new phenomena because they believed that affluence would eliminate uh, many of these social problems. They thought money would solve the problem. And in fact, money really accentuated the problem for these teenagers in the movie. There's very few items of his uh, in, the auction, in the auction world, uh, in the memorabilia world. Uh, he, had not, he didn't have a lot of money uh, by the time he died. He had just started making money. So it wasn't like he had a house full of clothes and furniture and jewelry and that kind of stuff. 